VS Code's built-in CSS support includes linting functionality that can help alert you to potential problems in your style sheet and help enforce certain style conventions in your CSS files. For example here, if I create an empty rule set, so I'll just delete this line here, you can see that I have a yellow squiggly showing up, and if I hover over this, it's saying, do not use empty rule sets. And this rule or this warning is actually coming from the built-in CSS extension. Now, there are many other rules and warnings that you can configure, so let's take a look at some of them. To configure these, I'm going to open up my settings with Control, comma or Command, comma on Mac. And then I'm going to put my settings to the side of the current editor so we can see the impact of some of these settings. And I want to search for CSS lint. And I have a whole bunch of settings that come up here. These are all the settings that are controlling the CSS linting functionality. Now, by default, some of the linting settings are enabled. So let's go find the one for empty rule set, for example, here. You can see that this is the CSS lint empty rule. That is what is generating the warning here. You can see that the current value is warning. If I click on this dropdown, I can make this an error instead. Now I have a red squiggly over here. The error is a little bit more prominent. And I could also go and make the CSS extension completely ignore this error. So it would not report any problems. So if I change this to ignore instead, it will no longer consider empty rule sets a problem. Now you can see that many of these linter rules are off by default. So many are set to ignore by default. Let's take a look at one of those. So I'm going to go and find the important rule here. Now, important in CSS, the directive is often not a good one to use just because it can cause unexpected behavior when dealing with overrides, and it's just not a good pattern. Um, but by default, let's do important here. You can see that the CSS extension does not care about that. That is because important can be used in um, older code bases, and sometimes it is a valid thing to use. But if we wanted to make this a warning and kind of enforce best practices, we could go change the CSS important rule here. Let's go make that an error instead. And you can see that now, sure enough, we get this error being reported in the CSS file. We also get that down in the problems view here. So in the problems view, we also have that warning showing up. So that's just a quick look at the linting functionality from the built-in CSS extension. Try taking a look through the settings and configure the linter in a way that fits your workflow.